I interact with the, the internal auditor's uh, office, uh, that is uh, the secretary to the committee, and uh, we, we, we do go through uh, the agendas and they, I mean, you know, where, where do the reports of uh, internal, of, of, of audit committees, because there's internal audit department and um, there's an audit committee, where do their reports end? Do they end and die with the clerk or they're supposed to be brought to the board? With, with the board. Have you ever brought those reports to the board? Yes. When? Um, we, we, we've, uh, the, current, the current audit committee's uh, terms, have you have, have you, as a board, ever sat down to consider an agenda item report of the audit committee? No. And please remember your oath. No. No. So that's what the auditor is querying, that you have an audit committee, but it is not functional. So what, what, what assurances are you giving to the Senate? <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, uh, we've, uh, we, have, we are giving capacity to the department. Uh, we, we realize that uh, they did not have uh, enough uh, human resource capacity, which we, are, we, we sent them out for trainings to manage these committees. And uh, going forward, the reports of these committees now should, shall be uh, administered properly and uh, as per the law. I think, Clark, this is why sometimes we feel like we are pouring, we are throwing money uh, down a hole. When this Senate, these distinguished uh, gentlemen and ladies come to Isiolo with a view to conducting an oversight meeting in Isiolo, you and your officers disappear. You only leave sergeant at arms to serve as water and to open doors. Yeah. How do you expect to build your capacity if you're not benchmarking and sharing experiences? We have looked at 46 other county assemblies and 47 county executives over the last 10 years. 470 assemblies, 470 county executives. We have experience that we can share with you and tell you how another county assembly has made its audit committee effective. And then when we come, you run away. And the head of the board says those things that we have already dealt with. I think you guys must change your attitude because Isiolo is not a republic on its own. It is a county that is bound by the same constitution and the same county governments act and the same PFM act as the other counties. Senator Dulo. Uh, I think, Chair, still uh, the clerk has not understood the question. What we expect you to tell us is who are the consumers of your report? Auditor, internal auditor's report. So clearly, when you have the board meetings, you must table those reports, because it will guide you on how you are actually um, carrying out your procurement and all that. The challenges, the gaps, those issues are pointed out in the internal auditor's report. So when you have those board meetings, you should even table uh, that report as an agenda of your discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being seriously harassed now. I don't know who protects me because the person who is, pro who is supposed to protect me. Now, crack, just a very quick one, and there's an English word that I'm not able to pronounce. Uh, only the chair can be able to pronounce it, but it is something like, uh, let me not even try, but it is the structure of the county assembly. Of your establishment. Just say it again. Oh, oh, that, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that word that I am not able to pronounce, I hope you are able to pronounce it yourself. I come from Nyandarwa. It's uh, difficult to pronounce some of these words. Very good. Now that you know it, who is the senior most in, the, in your internal um, audit department? You have a principal, you have a director of uh, audit, or who is the senior most? Uh, the principal auditor. You have a principal auditor. Yes. Does he sit in the county assembly management committee? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes he does? Oh, very good. Okay, so um, the, um, I think there's a, there's a weakness in your audit committees, internal audit functions. Auditor General, please keep this in view uh, because this is not a matter that we can resolve. Uh, but uh, ultimately, we must hold responsible the professional, because these are professional uh, activities. At least the internal audit must be manned by a member 
Royal Professional Institute. Even the audit committee, I believe that there, there are some professional qualifications. There are professional qualifications. So, Clark, this forms part of the agenda. We are advancing when we are meeting ISPAC uh, later on, when we are doing the meeting of the critical stakeholders, that their members are letting county assemblies and county executives down. We will exit this report for 2022 just by asking one final question, which is not in the audit report, but it's in the financial statement. Clark, under your uh, schedule of expenditure, you spent 54.7 million and called it other expenses. What are these other expenses that cannot be broken down? 54 million. That is 10% of your budget. Clark, can you offer an explanation? 10% of your budget was just described as other payments. What are these other payments that you guys do in Isiolo that cannot fit in the chart of accounts? In the prior year, it was 60 million. In your statement of receipts and payments. And I can see you are a signatory there, Clerk of the Assembly, Salad Boru Guracha, Accountant Abdullahi Kalthum Nuna. Is Abdullahi, Abdullahi here? Abdullahi Kalthum Nuna? Is Abdullahi part of this delegation? What's your ISPAC number? Are you in good standing with the uh, ISPAC? Uh, that needs to go on record. Uh, please give her a microphone. <coughs> yeah, please say, state your name and your, your, your professional membership. I'm Kantum Abdullahi. My number is 29827. Are you in good standing with ISPAC? This year, no. What is your role? The in the, review. What is your role in the county assembly? I prepare financial statements and the books. And so you are preparing financial statements and yet you're not in good standing with the professional body? The payment has been processed already. What payment? For the membership. Why aren't you in good standing? Were you struck off because of mal professional malpractice? Uh, no, no. So you prepare these financial statements. Tell us why you classify 10% of your expenditure as other payments, 54 million. Uh, we prepared the financial statement as a team, so... I you certified them as the ISPAC member. I can see it here. I, 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 all the information is here. Can you tell me what this 54 million relates to? Maybe Clark can explain that. Clark? I seek your indulgence, Mr. Chairman. Which page is that? Your statement of receipts and payments for the year ended 30th June 2022. Uh, Mr. Clark, you didn't come with your financial statements. What did you come to discuss if you didn't come with your financial statements? Look at page three of these documents. Do you have a copy of your financial statements, Clark? Yes. For the year ended 30th June 2022. Go to the statement of receipts and payments, which you have co-signed with Abdullahi Kalthum Nuna. We, chairman, we did not come with, the, with that. Because both signatories are here, they're in the room. <laughs> Through you, Chair. <coughs> Clark, the point Chair is making, and you are not an exception, we have been receiving this, you do your entries where you take a payment and you label it there 
as other payments. So we are saying, break, us, break it down for us. What are those other payments? What do you use that budget? Why do you use that budget for? What was it? In other words, in other words itemize what you are trying to say. And go, and go to note six. Note six is where you're supposed to provide the details. You have just said other expenses. And you see there's a footnote there saying, provide detailed explanations for other payments. Give us the detailed explanation why 10% of your expenditure is just described as other payments. And Chair, through you... Senator Mtata. It's, first of all, it's, it's illegal to do that. Because what it is trying to ask them to do is to comply with the law because you are, you are allowed to itemize your budget. You cannot have other expenses in your budget at all. There's no provision for that. So the audit agenda is trying to get to the foot and know, did you really do that? Because uh, other expenses have become a pseudonym for theft. We have stolen it, so we are not accounting. We just call it other, other expenses. So this question is very serious because it touches on the question of the rule of law. The law requires you to say, I bought 10 pens. Mm -hmm. I bought an envelope. You cannot say you bought others. So that's, what is, that's why the question is very, very critical because here we are looking at the evidence of theft of public funds. And we want you to say that you want you to prove that you did not steal this money. Because according to the law, you stole the money. So here I want you to tell us that you did not steal it. That's the question that the, the chair is putting to you. Do we have an answer yes, or we ask yes. ESCC to no, get no. to the bottom of this? No, no, Mr. Chair. Why are you terrified when we talk about ESCC? Uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Clark, uh, can you try to explain? The breakdown of it is, uh, I, I, I just am I'm, I'm made to understand that uh, part of uh, uh, that vote was used to, to pay um, um, uh, pending bills and, uh, and what do you call it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Clark. <laughs> okay, you said the money was pay, used for paying pending bills. What are they? Yeah, so... Who, yeah. Which ones? We we'll, we'll provide schedules of the same. Okay, thank you. Um, it is annex, Mr. Chairman. Where is it? It is annexed on uh, page 23 of the document. Annex 3. 46. So, what is the relationship between uh, that annex and other papers? Uh, the, the, the sum there is 46. The sum here is 54. The, those are not the same things. And what you have there are account payables. Those are pending bills. <laughs> 54 million is actual payment. It's not a provision. Mm. Okay. We can provide the, 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 the you know, the documents to support this, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Clark, next time you come to the Senate, uh, familiarize yourself with your financial statement because that is what we are discussing. We are discussing the Auditor General's report on your financial statements. And I don't think that will be kind to uh, provide time when uh, we are dealing with statements that are two years old or three years old. Now, Auditor, uh, because we'll probably be writing this report at the end of this month, we can give seven days max for a breakdown of that 54 million and the 60 million. And please do not uh, manufacture records because we'll be scrutinizing it with uh, our colleagues from the ESCC. But, but I think Senator in future, in future they have to break it down because huh? it is illegal for them to put a blanket uh, whatever. Yeah, uh, uh, and I would have expected it to be an audit query because of the materiality. Yeah, it being uh, close to ten percent of the total budget. Okay. Clark, I hope you have understood. <laughs>